Hello everyone, my name is Felipe, I'm a technical lead and full stack developer in the tech industry. I've worked in many industries in the past, like VFX, game development, advertising, and many many other tech related industries. I've been in all kinds of roles like people management, technology management, hands-on developer, generalist, supervisor, and many other different roles. I want to welcome you to this Python course, where you're going to see how we work in a real-life production. This is a production-oriented course, which will guide you through many steps for your career. If you're a software developer, if you're an artist, TD, technical person, or many other branches, this is a really nice step to guide you through the career into new technologies. We're living right now in an age where the creative side of things and the technology side of things are really tied together and the line between those two is really blurry, which is excellent. It's a really great time to be in. If you're coming from a software developer background, you will be dealing with 3D-like technologies in rendering websites or with AI. If you're already in the creative industry, you can see and you can feel right now how technology is advancing in every single field. So wearing the tech hat in an industry is essential for nowadays. So this course is step number one to guide you into that better approach to work in a company. I've been in a position before to interview people, to hire people, managing whole teams, promoting people inside companies. I have the inside information on exactly what we need to perform those steps. If you're coming from the entertainment industry, like advertising, game development, VFX, and all of that, trust me, if you have technical knowledge on the workflow you're doing, you will be an excellent value to a company. And nowadays, that's the main skill we're all looking for. Python is a standard for all industries, regardless if your background is web development or if your end goal is some new technologies like AI, Python will be intrinsic in all of those new technologies. The requirements for this course, you should have knowledge on the basics of Python, how to import libraries, how to create variables, how to define functions, concepts about OOP, and just the basics. I will show you in the first chapters, architectures of RAM and the logic behind containers and why sometimes you wanna use different ones. Some of the projects we will cover will be playing around with the Houdini API so we can control nodes, parameters, and automate some networks. We will create an HDA. We will deploy that HDA with Git. We will check some important concepts about Git, how to work with a pipeline, implementation, and the logic behind the steps of our production. We will check efficiency in searching algorithms. We will check how to traverse through graphs, how to create graphs and implement them as well. Some sorting algorithms, extremely important for our production. All the concepts of CI, CD, system design, encapsulation, security, how to deal with real-life data sets. We will implement the logic for a home pipeline so it can be scalable for a big studio. We will check concurrency in programming in a geometry context. We will create some Houdini projects. We will have an asset project ingestion into the pipeline, going through Unreal Engine, checking some really cool stuff along the way. We will check the Python USD API for Houdini, which is DCC agnostic, it's not just for Houdini, but with the main logic, how it will communicate with other DCCs. By the end, we will have our first steps more into data, checking Pandas library, how to visualize and plot some 3D data, and how we interact with different libraries creating Python environments and communicating that with Houdini or any other workflow you need. So if you wanna jump in the boat, of the technical side of things while maintaining your creative side of things, this is the best approach for you. If you're coming from a pure web development background, for example, you will be dealing with lots of 3D based technologies. So this is a great step for you to be familiar with 3D pipelines. What's happening behind the scenes in a production sense, I will show you how to write clean code and how we check code in a production environment how to deploy this code, how to maintain this code. And we're gonna use Houdini as our center DCC, as our main core DCC. The reason for that is there are many DCCs out there like Maya, Blender, Modo, and so many more. And I think Houdini has the best Python API. Most other DCCs will rely either in graphical interfaces or in the backend. There are some amazing tools, for example, in Blender or Maya, but those tools mainly involve a human clicking things and selecting things, so it's not very automated. They really split the way in graphical interface based tools 
and in backend interface based tools. Houdini is like this hybrid API where you can even click buttons, drag windows, and do whatever you want with Python, either in the front end or in the back end. So it's a really essential DCC, and you're gonna be surrounding this course based on Houdini. It's not just a Houdini tutorial-centric Python API course. It covers many things about software development, working as a team, what skills you need in order to progress in your career. We'll start with data structure and algorithms, big O notation, concepts about containers, hash tables, how to work with JSON files, real essential theory and implementations of graphs, search algorithms. We will check the Python API for Houdini. We will check how to create environment variables for a production. This can be in many DCCs like Unreal Engine, Maya. It's a production itself, how to deal with the back end of a pipeline. We will implement a really small home pipeline. If you're a freelancer, this will be really useful. How to communicate with clients. If these are your first steps in an industry, how to automate your process, how to get your first steps into this whole side of technology. So welcome, I hope you're excited. We will check so many cool projects and I will guide you through all of these steps.